You will never change your life until you do something daily. The secret to your success is found in your daily routine. To me, the biggest difference between where I wanna be and where I am right now is just what I do every single day. And so I'm a big believer in daily habits. And today I wanna to share with you the 15 habits that I do every single day. I wake up at the same exact time every single day. My alarm is set, I'm gonna show you, for 4.49 a.m. Why is it 4.49? I don't know, you guys. If you have little children, you know that mornings can be crazy. Sometimes they wake up at like five. Why, why do they wake up at five? I don't know. So my wake up time is early, but what it really comes down to is consistency. And of course, when my alarm goes off, I'm not hitting the snooze, I'm not laying in bed, I'm getting up out of bed at the same time every single morning. By having the same wake time and generally the same bedtime every single night, it sets my sleep-wake clock. My body knows that I'm going to bed around 10 o'clock every night and I'm waking up at 4.49 a.m. every single morning. And so it is primed for this. It knows at 10 o'clock I fall asleep quickly. I sleep really, really well. And when I wake up at 4.49, yes, I am tired, but once I drag myself out of bed, I feel rested. It just sets my day up for success. It's never this sort of guessing game of what my morning is gonna look like, like, oops, did I oversleep? I don't think that your wake time has to be super early in the morning if that's not what works for you. But having a consistent wake time, a time that you are always starting your day, I think makes a huge, huge difference to the way that your day plays out. Number two is I exercise. I started with just like really basic yoga. I would do sometimes just five or 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be this monumental thing. I've kind of built up to it where I do at minimum at least 25 minutes of workout in the morning now. And I talk about this in my mindset shifts video, which I will link down below. But the reason that I've been able to really stick to this habit is because I've actually changed my perspective about working out. And so why have I suddenly been able to stick with working out for close to a year now? It is because I've changed the way I look at working out where before working out was always about trying to look good or burn calories or like being able to feel better about the cheesecake that I ate. And I finally shift my way of thinking to work out as working out to make myself stronger. I have two small children and I'm growing another one and that puts a lot of strain on your body. Um, and so I'm finally working out for me so that I can be stronger. Number three is I switch the laundry. Laundry is probably the one chore that I struggle with the most. Just felt like I was always drowning in laundry no matter what I did. And I finally found, like with everything, the best way to combat laundry would be with daily habits. And so every single morning, I go down to our laundry room, it's in our basement, and I do something. Whether I'm switching from a uh, washer to dryer, I'm taking stuff out of the dryer and I'm bringing it upstairs, I'm folding a basket that maybe I brought up last night, I am doing something for the laundry every single morning. And it's really just gone, gone to prove it's like that one chore that I always kind of just sucked at, but by attacking it with a small daily habit, I finally feel like I have some control over it. Number four, I empty the dishwasher. I usually do this while my kids are having breakfast or right before they come down for breakfast. It is this daily practice that essentially makes later in my day easier. Um, there were times in my life that usually like I would neglect it and it would be dinner time and dinner time rush was crazy and I was trying to cook and I would open the dishwasher and have all these clean dishes that I needed to put away and I was like this is not working like this is not what I need to be putting away my clean dishes it sort of gives you this like fresh slate for the day in your kitchen which for me is definitely the room that I spend the most time in so making that room really efficient for my day makes a big difference number five I do a post breakfast tidy so I empty the dishwasher while the kids are eating breakfast and then after the kids have eaten breakfast we do like a quick tidy of the breakfast space that way we're able to sort of leave the kitchen area clean for the rest of the day whether I'm taking the kids off to school and we can kind of come home to this tidied up space or I'm staying home with the kids for the day, it's even better to have the sort of kitchen space tidied up because I know we're gonna be spending a lot of time in the space. If my kids are learning how to clear their own plates, they put their stuff in the trash, they put their stuff in the sink, I will fill up the dishwasher or on days that I take the kids to school, my husband fills up the dishwasher and then I usually will like clear off any other flat surfaces and then probably do a quick sweep, especially with two small children in the house, my floors get dirty like really quickly. While we're talking about cleaning the floors, I have to thank the sponsor for today's video, which is Robo Rock. I recently up upgraded to the Dyad Pro, um, which basically has replaced having to use both a broom and a mop, which used to take me a lot longer to tend to my floors. And it has been a total game changer. I keep it just charging at the top of our basement stairs, which is right off of our kitchen. So it makes it really easy to grab and quickly clean the floors. Literally takes me a minute or two. The charging base actually has a self-clean function. So it like self-cleans the little roller blades, it self dries them. So I don't have to worry about that step. I literally just have to worry about grabbing it and then cleaning up the messes. And like I said, it cleans up dry messes and wet messes all at once. And it is extremely 
effective. I was so pleasantly surprised at how well this cleaned up, like just a combination of messes, whether it was like cleaning up a milk spill and a pretzel all at once, but it also is super effective. It can get right into tight corners. It gets right along edges. I will never stop being amazed at the mess children can make when they are eating, especially that like one to three year old phase is just astounding. And the Diet Pro literally can clean it up. Like I've tested it on some heavy duty stuff and I'm always surprised at what it can clean up. And it has a Dirtec Smart sensor that can detect the concentration of dirt in an area and sort of adjust accordingly. So it's not just like a wet dry vac, but it's also a smart wet dry vac. Check out the link in my description box down below to learn a little bit more and get your own Diet Pro. Next thing I do every single day is get dressed. There is an exception sometimes on Sundays. I'll just stay in the PJs for the day. But in general, I find even if it's just changing from like pajamas into leggings. There's a very small shift that happens in your brain that you don't even realize from when you're wearing pants that you could go run errands in versus when you're wearing pajamas. You just feel more capable for the day. The way that I always describe it is like, if I needed to go to the grocery store right now, I could get up and go to the grocery store and what I'm wearing. The next one is check in on my to-do list. I always talk about when it comes to sort of finding a productive schedule is that you actually have to schedule time to schedule time, which seems really repetitive, but it's like this, this step that a lot of us miss. And then so we're never actually really scheduled. We're just kind of running around with this to-do list and not knowing exactly when we're going to tackle each thing. So I always sit down with my to-do list for five or six minutes every single day. I take a look at what I need, what's like upcoming, what's on my plate today, what's on my plate this week. And then I kind of will schedule out my day with how I want this to look. When am I gonna be tackling each of these things? I find that I'm mo most likely to fail at a day if I have a day which is like a bunch of tasks, but I haven't really assigned general ideas of when I'm going to complete each task. Okay, so most of those habits happen generally in the morning and then sort of the rest of my day can really vary depending on if it's a work day or it's a day that I'm home with the kids. So the next habit that I do basically every single day is not until the late afternoon, but I always do a late afternoon tidy. Um, so if I've been home with the kids, this usually happens when I put my daughter down for a nap. If it's a day my kids are in school, it will usually happen right when I get them home. We're just sort of like resetting the space essentially so that the second half of the day is not total madness. If it's a day that my kids were in school, it's usually um, getting everything in from school and kind of trying to clear that out because it's really easy to come home from school and all of that stuff is just like strewn everywhere. You have their shoes and the jackets and the bags and the lunch boxes and whatever. And so I really try to do sort of like a reset right as we come in the door. Having my kids sort of help with this as well. We're like taking lunch boxes out, putting them in the sink, hanging our lunch boxes up, putting our jackets away, putting the shoes away. Next up, I tend to mail in packages daily. This is a habit that I do every single day. Not that we get a package every day, but there's usually some type of package or mail or paperwork that comes into our home every day. And it's easy to kind of like, you get something and you kind of like let them pile up for a few days. But I find the easiest way for me to do this is I've learned to just like tackle things right as they're coming in the door. If there's any packages, I will open them. I will break down the boxes. The boxes will go out into my um, trunk so that they can get taken to recycling. And whatever item is in there is getting put away where it needs to go. I just find with online ordering and getting a lot of stuff that way, we can end up with a lot of boxes and packaging just sort of laying around and it becomes this huge sort of clutter really, really fast. So I find tending to it every single day makes a huge difference. Before my kids head upstairs for their sort of bedtime routine, we do do a like bed pre-bedtime pickup. This is mostly for my kids. I'm really just starting to try to mirror the importance of habits for them as well. So I always tell them like, okay, it's time to head upstairs. We're getting ready to go get ready for the tub. We all have to pick one thing to clean up or we're gonna do a five minute tidy or whatever. Sometimes they're more involved in this and more enthusiastic than other times, but it's just involving them in that habit. I'm modeling it, I'm picking one thing to clean up, and it's something that we're sort of doing together. All right, we've gotten sort of towards the end of the day now, something I do every single night before I go to bed, which if you're not new here, you know that I do this every single night, and that is clean my kitchen sink. This is basically the habit that started everything for me. I have entire essentially videos dedicated to the importance of cleaning my kitchen sink before I go to bed, because it is the one habit, it's the first habit that I ever adopted, that I was like, I will do this every single night before I go to bed. And it is what has rippled into all of my other habits because I realized what a big impact just doing one single thing every single day could make that I started doing more and more and more habits. So yes, I empty out my kitchen sink, everything goes into the dishwasher, the dishwasher turns on and I clean my kitchen sink clean because now I'm starting my next day with a clean 
kitchen sink. That is the best way to start the day. It's like the best thing that I can do for tomorrow, Kelly, is clean that kitchen sink. Next, I come back to my floors. Like I said, I find attending to it twice a day is just the best way to do it because it literally only takes a couple of minutes, especially with that Dyad Pro. It goes so fast. I use it on the auto setting, which like basically kind of like just does the work for you. I'm just kind of holding it and pushing it along as it goes. And then before I head upstairs for the night, I always will put out my water bottles for tomorrow. I put out a water bottle for each kid as well as my own water bottle. It seems like a really small thing, but I find just like having their water bottles and my water bottles ready in the morning. It's just like this one less step that I really need to do. Lots of times I'll put out their cups for milk as well, just cause the morning madness can be kind of crazy. It just makes that morning routine a little bit easier. And then finally I grab whatever clothes I'm going to wear tomorrow. It just helps with the habit of getting dressed, right? If my habit is that I'm gonna get dressed every single morning, it makes it a lot easier for the night before I just grab the clothes. This is again, nothing fancy. It's like a leggings, some oversized shirt. I mean, I'm, I am 34 weeks pregnant. So we're just like whatever oversized shirt. So a lot of my nighttime routines are really to help my morning routines be a little bit easier. All right, my friends, that does it. That is, I think it was 14 or 15 daily habits that I do every single day. A lot of these might seem sort of silly and just like not really that big of a deal, but when you add them up day after day and you're doing them day after day, they make such a difference. When you stick to doing something over and over and over again, that consistency of always doing it really does just make life a lot easier. And I think that's a really beautiful thing about habits is once you stick to doing them consistently, they just start to happen on autopilot. So while it feels like this big monumental task of like sticking to it every single day, it's really just sticking to it every single day for a little while and eventually your body autopilots to it. If you have read the book, Atomic Habits, essentially probably one of the most famous books out there about habits, James Clear says in the book, probably one of my favorite quotes, that every action you take is a vote for the person you wish to become. If I could sum up the most important lesson I've learned in life thus far, it is that essentially we are the outcome of our daily habits. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to yourself and others, and I will see you all in my next video.